in the earlier recording we have seen that the monopolist is going to function at the elastic portion of the demand curve this is what we have seen he will never produce at the inelastic portion but he is going to make more money if he is going to face a relatively inelastic demand curve right so let me just write these points while The monopolist produces at the elastic portion of the demand curve. This is what we have seen in the last recording, right? He is going to make more money if he is going to be facing the relatively inelastic demand curve because if he's going to face relatively inelastic demand curve, it means that the product has less substitutes which are available and people will be willing to pay higher price to them, right? So, monopolist, it can charge larger margin so when i say larger margin it means how far i can set the price above the cost that is what is meant by the larger margin margin when facing relatively inelastic demand curve. Inelastic demand curve. So when the consumers, sorry, when the monopolist is going to face a relatively inelastic demand curve, it means that uh, consumers do not have many substitutes which are available. And because consumers do not have many substitutes which are available, so consumers will, in, will be willing to pay even higher price for the monopolist product, right? So then when the consumer sorry, sorry then when facing relatively elastic demand curve, right? Right. So, beta, you have already seen this in the last class that uh, at equilibrium, MC cube is equal to MRQ. You've seen this. And you have also seen this that marginal revenue, it could be written as P is a function of Q plus del P is a function of Q by del Q into Q. Let me just show this. I mean, we have also derived it earlier, right? In one or two classes behind, I think. So you can just have a look at this. So this is what we have derived earlier, right? So if you have not seen this, please go to the previous recordings. And uh, we have shown this, right? This is, let's say, what C is or MC is. MCQ. Right, fair enough. So what I can do is I can take up this thing common. And I'll be getting 1 plus del P is a function of Q upon del Q into Q by P is a function of Q like this, right? Well, 
this guy is nothing but the inverse of elasticity. What is the formula for elasticity of demand? Del Q by del P into P by Q. That is the formula. So what about 1 upon elasticity of demand? Del P by del Q into Q by P. That's what you have written. One upon elasticity of demand, right? Well, this is what the MCQ is. This is what the MCQ is. Fair enough. I can just open this up also. P is a function of Q. Mm -hmm. Like this. And I can write it like minus P upon 1 upon elasticity of demand. This is, let's say, P minus MC. P minus MC. So I'll be left out with minus 1 upon Elasticity of demand is equal to P minus MC upon P. P minus MC upon P. So this is what my relative markup is. So proportionately, how far I am able to set the price above the marginal cost? This is what the learner's index is. This is what the learner's index is. So it is the monopolist's ability. ability set the price above marginal cost, to set the price above marginal cost. So this is also called the markup. And why it is called the markup? It is called because it is uh, uh, giving you an opportunity to set the price above the cost. It's a markup over the cost, right? Markup over the cost. So, say for example, say elasticity of demand is minus four, right? Elasticity of demand is minus four. So, it is relatively elastic. Huh? So, it is. Uh, so, what is your uh, P minus MC upon P? One upon four. Right. So your power to set the price relatively above the marginal cost is just one by four. If the demand is relatively inelastic, minus one upon four. So it is relatively inelastic. This is elastic. Hmm? So it is minus 1 upon minus 1 upon 4. So that comes out to be 4. So monopolist's ability to set the price above the cost is more in the inelastic demand curve or in the inelastic market relative to the elastic market. So this is elastic. Na? So modulus of ED is 4. So this is greater than 1. This is elastic. Here modulus of ED is 1 by 4. It is less than 1. It is inelastic. So monopolist has more power to set the price above the cost in case if he is facing the relatively inelastic demand curve. Relatively inelastic demand curve. Right? So I mean in, in percentage terms also you can say that in case of elastic demand curve, his power is to set the price just 25% more above the cost. But in case of uh, this guy, your uh, your uh, inelastic demand curve, his power is to set the price 400% above the cost. Right. So this is what uh, I wanted to do in this class. Right? Thank you, Bhutan.